This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars and people in the world, this is the book of Joel. Three, verse 9 Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles Prepare war Wake up the mighty men Let all the men of war draw near And let them come up Joel 3 and verse 10 Put ye, Beat your plowshares and the swords And the plenty hooks and the spears And let the weak say I'm strong Shalom First and foremost I'd like to give all praise and some glory And honor to To Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem With Karkadash Shalom to the uh, elders Wa'aki and Wa'akwa And I say Shalom And this is a uh, sit down lesson That I want to bring out From the newsweek.com As of December the uh, 28th 2023 At 8.44 a.m. Eastern Standard Time And it reads Iran General vows revenge For Commander Amending D-E-A-T-H To You know what chance Especially with the uh, recent uh, airstrike from the uh, Israeli Defense Force uh, killed one of the uh, top high-ranking generals over there in Syria. So amending the ongoing tensions of that as well, too, between Iran against the Israeli Defense Force, because you have the United States and the Israeli Defense Force as allies with one another. And, you know, Iran, you know, they look at them as their common enemy. You know, they look at them as their enemy, you know. And it says the head of uh, Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, has threatened revenge against Israel for the death of the high-ranking commander during a service in which mourners chanted D-E-A-T-H to you-know-what. And it says uh, Tyran said Shai Razai Masavai, a senior uh, IRGC, which is Ira Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, a visor was killed Monday during a Israeli airstrike on a neighboring in the city capital of Damascus. That's when Isaiah 17 1 comes into play. It says that Israeli uh, military spokesperson has not commented. On the uh, Masavali's death, but did say its forces took action that was necessary to defend the country. For years, Israel has carried out an attacks against what is said are Iran-linked targets in Syria. The, I, the uh, Syria Observatory for Human Rights said the Israeli military target, Masavali, after he entered what was believed to be uh, office fully Lebanese I mean Lebanon based military group Hezbollah which Israel has been engaging with during its war with Hamas during the uh, Masavali televised funeral on Thursday Major General Hass Hassan Samali chief commander of the Iranian uh, Iranian uh, IRGC, I meant to say, said Masavali was one of the most experienced and effective commanders of Resistance Front, referring to the Tehran Alliance Group in the Middle East, which is Western Asia. It says, Our revenge for the martyrdom of Shad Razi will be nothing less than removable of the Zionist regime. Somali said he expressed his hope that soon. Um, permitted the great and honor Palestinian fighters will wipe out this evil and fake regime mourners chanted you know what which I'm not going to say that, that to um, you know that to the small hatters if you know what I mean the IDF during the uh, service in which prayers were led by Iran's supreme leader Ali Kamari, who paid tribute to his Maritime tireless struggle, Reuters reported. So, yeah, this is definitely going to stir up more tensions. I would say a couple of years back, once they uh, top uh, commander general, 
you know, Somali got killed in 2020 or 2021, if I'm not mistaken, due to the uh, airstrikes. Now, this latest incident of the air, Iranian top general over there in Syria got hit with an airstrike by the Israeli Defense Force. So that's definitely going to... Uh, definitely going to uh, stir up more tensions between the uh, pro-Iranian groups and the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps and uh, that's and other allies that's pro-Iranian. So they're going to continue to uh, team up together that coalition against the United States Army and the Israeli Defense Force as well too. I'm going to bring up that Joe Will. As the verse 9, proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near and let them come up. Joel 3 and verse 10. Beat your plowshares with swords and the plenty of hooks and the spears and let the weak say I am strong. Right. Because it was a news article that came out saying that uh, Iran was going to continue building up their nuclear capability of an enrichment of uh, multiple nuclear bombs and increasing uh, hypersonic and ballistic missiles and upgradable uh, missiles as well too to have their focus set on uh, so they can have their revenge sight on the United States Army and the Israeli Defense Force. Definitely, mostly the uh, Israeli Defense Force because they're going to be their main target. They're going to be their main adversaries, you know. So with that, hopefully this uh, set down lesson was uh, edifying of this recent news article from the Newsweek.com as of December the uh, 28th, 2023 at 8.44 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it says again, Iran general vows revenge for commander amending the chance that, you know, D-E-A-T-H to, you know what I mean, which I'm not going to say. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Wakar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.